If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. We're pulling a lot of pieces from Shadowlands here, uh, and we're gonna mix it up with some uh, Warlords of Draenor stuff, but this is one of the Warlords stuff. Uh, Warmongering Gladiator's Pauldrons. Uh, if you're Horde, you gotta go wild in order to get that. Also, the headpiece is from that same set, set as well as the belt. The chest, Castle Nathria Heroic. We're also gonna pull the legs, as well as the bracers and the boots and the back, all from Castle Nathria. Uh, the belt doesn't look so great here on a Dwarf Shaman, but that's more so because of the add-on that I'm using Mogget to showcase it rather than how it would actually look in game, I do believe. Uh, Legs, Castle Nathria, Heroic, as I said, Lady Inverna Darkvane, interesting name. Got a, once again, see how the, the belt is crossed out. I don't think that's going to happen in game. That's more or less uh, just the way Magen is representing it, but it looks okay like that too, honestly. Uh, the feet, Legionnaires, Blood Stained Sabatons, Castle Nathri Heroic, Calthra Sunstrider is the boss, that of course, from Shadowlands. Got a Magthar Orc, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Castle Nathri, a regular version, Calthra Sunstrider, in order to get the cloak. Moving on to the headpiece, part of the same tier set as the belt and shoulders. If you're Horde, you're going to have to go wild to get that. And the weapon from Siege of Ogamar, Iron Juggernaut, Seismic Boar, 18% drop rate. You can definitely electrify people with this set. This looks pretty damn epic. It's pretty easy to get. Uh, Sanctum of Domination Mythic on the shoulders. We're pulling a few things from Sanctum of Domination Mythic. So if you already conquered that good for you maybe you have it if not eventually it'd be a lot easier going down the road to pick up nighthold mythic as well that like now that's something that's easy to pick up and that's the way it works uh we're also going to pull the legs from that same uh set sanctum of domination mythic uh you could also use the belt from nighthold mythic if you want uh leggings of shackled elements nighthold mythic on the legs Gul'dan is the boss 12 percent on the drop rate for the legs. Uh, the Bracers, Emerald Nightmare Mythic, Manacles of the Nightmare Colossus, Zuvius, he's the final boss, by the way. Pick up those Bracers. Now we're moving on to the feet, which you really can't see that well on a Draenei, but the Nighthold Mythic, once again, another piece. So this is a mix of a tier, Mythic tier from Shadowlands as well as Legion. Uh, the shield, pulsing spell shield, Ulduar, XT002, the Deconstructor. The headpiece, Crest of the Fallen. Sanctum of Domination, Mythic there. And finally, the weapon, Sanctum of Domination, Mythic as well. Gonna start off with the shoulders, which just look epic for any given shaman. Blackrock Foundry Mythic. Once upon a time, it was not so easy to get. Now it's a cakewalk. So you get that from your wide raid tier there. Colossus Slayer's Huberk, uh, Sanctum of Domination Mythic. Uh, the Tarug, uh, Tarugo, Tarugru, Tarug, whatever his name is. Doesn't matter, you take him out, he's no longer existing. This is Alliance only on the belt, Legion PvP vendor, Marks of Honor, but you could always throw some sort of belt in that's got blue if you're Horde. Uh, the legs, Sanctum of Domination, Mythic, Skyja is boss, well, kind of a fair drop rate. Look at those animations on the shoulders, just, that is just so cool for your Shaman, Shaman x -Bon. I think it looks epic. Uh, Grisps of Ancestral Whispers, Sanctum of Domination, LFR, Remnant of Nerzul, kind of a fair drop rate to get those. The feet, which you really can't see so well here on Jirnai, but uh, Eye of the Jailer, Sanctum of Domination, LFR, Agrees of Extermination, so same tier, different mode. Uh, the back, Revendreth, Venthyr Campaign, Burnished Death Shroud Cloak, Sticking with the Shaman and the Orc here, uh, Gronskin Crown, Black Rock Foundry Mythic. And finally, we get to the weapon, which looks just so epic, uh, Black Rock Foundry Heroic for the Mace. A little bit of a fell look for your Shaman. So when you say that, you're going to the Nighthold Heroic, Pauldrons of Shackled Elements, Tychondrius, 
They do a lot of pre-mades on the Horde side in BGs. Anyway, the chest is Ringmail of Madness Accordant. You're looking at Hellfire Citadel Mythic, Fell Lord Zakun, 18, 19, 20%, somewhere around there on a drop rate. This looks really cool on a Dwarf Shaman. Uh, Dragon Soul Heroic for the belt or the girdle. You could also use the belt uh, that drops from Throne of Thunder. I'm not sure which mode it is, but it's got that green flare to it. Leggings of the Living Mountain, Hellfire Citadel Mythic. So that's part of the same tier set as the chest, I do believe. And back to Lady Jernai, and she's showing the hands. Mitts of Eternal uh, Famishment. Uh, Hellfire Citadel Mythic, Gorefiend is the boss for those gloves. The feet are short-footed chain threads. Hellfire Citadel Mythic. So you see the theme here. A lot of stuff from Wad and a couple of pieces from Legion. Uh, we're looking at the back. Drape of Gathering Clouds. Heart of Fear, LFR, Blade Lord, Tyak. The headpiece is engineering. Wad level. You can buy it on the auction house or craft it if you're an engineer. And of course the weapon. You're going to your Wad PvP vendor. Wild Warmongering if you're bored. For the shaman who love that kind of pimp, pink, pimp. <laughs> for the shaman that love that pink or purple look, this is for you. Uh, might not, well, it does kind of fit uh, the shaman class fantasy to some extent, but the color maybe not. But it's got some really nice pieces. Cathal Nathria LFR for the chest, the gloves, the legs, and the boots. Uh, corrupted Gladiator's Chain Waste, that's your BFA PvP vendor marks of honor. The Horde might be a little bit of a different color, I'm not sure, 100%. I don't think so though. Uh, Greaves of Enigmatic Energies, that'll be Castle Nathria LFR. As you can see the boss, decent drop rate, so we got a fair representation from Shadowlands here. The Bracers, Zalamar Van Bracers. Uh, Nazmir or Valdine, various mobs, or the auction house for those bracers. If you don't want to show the gloves, that's what you can show, or those gloves are certainly from LFR version of Castle Nathria. Uh, the feet, jingling, blah blah blahs, those are Castle Nathria. LFR version, Drape of the Skybreaker, Tomb of Sargeras LFR, a lot of LFR stuff, but that's a different uh, X pack. Grievous Gladiator's Ringmail Helm. If you hoard, you got to go Prideful. It's an easy pickup. And the weapon, we're going to head over to Nihilotha in order to get that mace. The chroma key uh, basically messed up the coloring just a little bit. It's very difficult to do anything teal because this green doesn't work as a chroma key. Neither does blue, and sometimes purple doesn't. But I think it, it just slightly added out of whack. Generally speaking, it's on there, it hits, it, it's a match, it works perfectly. Uh, slave pens for the chest piece. Moving on to the dwarf, uh, belt of the iron prison, that Siege of Ogamar LFR, in order to get that belt. So that, that, that belt's really, really nice with this set. Uh, the legs, uh, kilt of rolling thunders. Hellfire Rampart's a dungeon, so that's spammable on a daily basis. That's a drop set, same as the chest but a different place to pick it up. The Zalamar Van Bracers, Nazmir, Voldoon, uh, various mobs or the auction house to get those kind of uh, grayish brown, green kind of bracers. Duty Bound, Tactician, Sabatons, Maljax, Maljaxis, Maldraxis, Shadow Lord Campaign or the Necro Lord Campaign. Uh, Repin running out, got a Magthar Orc showing the drape of the Skybreaker, Tomb of Sargeras. Uh, the was well, spelled wrong, I know. Sorry about that. Uh, the head, Duty Bond Tactician's Face Guard. That's part of the same Maldraxxus set as the shoulders and I think the bracers. And the weapon, Goreforged Mace Maldraxxus, once again from the Necro Lords. My name is Luxley, and you've watched another edition of Moogle on the Shaman side. Want to see more Shaman X Mogs? Click on the link. If not, that's okay. Either way, make your day epic, and thank you. Thank you for watching.